what is up fpg fam welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another weathering waves video so in today's video i just wanted to give my first impressions of what we saw from the technical test for weathering waves from a content creator that has access to it to Myas gg if i mispronounce i do truly apologize i'll leave a link to their channel down in the description below please sub to them show support as they provided this footage as a live stream that they did earlier and i wanted to go ahead and just give my first impressions on what i saw from the combat and what i've saw from the game so far so this is a technical test like we mentioned before and let me tell you something from what i can see now of course i don't have my hands on to be able to test it out you know firsthand but what i saw it seems to be extremely fluid and extremely smooth and it doesn't seem like a technical test it seems more like a closed beta now there were you know a few hiccups and a few glitches here and there but for the most part it looked great and it looked like it ran great and there were a lot of great things that i saw from here and a lot of confirmations on things that i was speculating on and hoping to see so one of the first ones is just the exploration aspect the wall running in this just seemed to be seamless and fluid and it looked like tons of fun to me personally so that was one thing that was really great to see the second thing was combat so as you can see in combat here what i was trying to confirm is if this combat is going to be similar to like punishing gray raven and from what i can see that is indeed the case the combat looks great it looks fast paced it looks fluid it looks like it hits hard the music's great as well the background music the osds so when viewing this for the first time i did get a lot of those things confirmed as well so i want to also show the boss fight here now i did a video a little while ago where we were taking a look at the gameplay trailer and then the gameplay trailer had that boss fight and i speculated that that boss fight was probably going to be in the beginning of the game when you first start and indeed that was confirmed to be true because as you can see this is the boss fight right here so that was really cool that i was able to get that nailed down or or correct so here's the boss fight and you can see what's happening here in terms of the weathering waves or the sound waves affecting our main character and then we have yan yan here where you saw that little tornado that you know saved our main character from taking a bad fall and that is actually part of yan yan's elemental burst or ultimate i should say excuse me a part of yan yan's ultimate is like that tornado and then here is that opening scene that we saw from the gameplay trailer obviously didn't have yan yan in there but this is where the main antagonist, I'm just going to call the main antagonist, shows up. And we have this epic boss fight right at the beginning, which is incredible. Look at this scene right here, how they just flash in. And a lot of these cutscenes in the game, with it being a technical test, was fantastic. So here's the fight right here. And you could just tell how fast paced it is the impact of the hit this is actually the elemental or the ultimate i keep wanting to call it elemental burst the ultimate from the main character and you can see the movement there is eye framing or invincibility frames you saw the perfect dodge right there right into some juggles and into some very hard hitting attacks there you go another um perfect dodge and then you can see the enemy doing some big attacks some aoe and there is a targeting system as well. You can see the target right on the center of the enemy's chest. So there is a targeting system, which is great to see. You can see the ultimates and the skills in the bottom right hand corner. Now, one thing that I haven't confirmed is the little like sound waves underneath the enemy's health and then above our own character's health. I'm not too sure what that's referencing. If that is maybe your perfect dodges that you have, I'm not too sure. And then we have this really cool animated scene right here, this cutscene, which looks great. There has been confirmed parries in the game as well, perfect parries or counters. So that's good to know as well. Here's a big slam. An amazing cutscene right here. I mean, this game, I've said it from the beginning, I've said this multiple times, this game is going to be special. This game is going to be big and it has tons of potential. You do have your little companion or familiar friend there as well to be able to help out use some skills once again another perfect dodge right there i think that's what it is what's above the our main character's health bar another ultimate some more juggles it's just it's fast paced it's fluid it's it's pgr-esque and that's all i really wanted it to be is like pgr-esque in difficulty 
and in in the movement and in the gameplay and that's exactly what we're getting here and then we have this cutscene that we've seen from the gameplay trailer just extended greatly and it looks amazing as well in the comments down below let me know what your guys' thoughts are let me know what you guys think and then here this looks very familiar and then we have this binding so there's some interacting in the actual uh game as well but in terms of first impressions they're great you know for it being a technical test like i mentioned it didn't seem or look like a technical test it looked like a closed beta which is a great sign it means that the game is running smooth that they're getting things together and from first impressions it really just confirmed a lot of things cemented a lot of things and has me more excited than ever to be able to see more of this game and look at this cutscene right here absolutely incredible yeah that that all looks great this game is just going to be an incredible game a special game one that's going to be extremely enjoyable and then you have the transformation here this cutscene right here and now you're back right into the fight there is that counter or that perfect parry that we were talking about earlier right into the perfect dodges and now you have the enemy hurt right here going into some more attacks so this this is just everything that i wanted from this game and uh, i i know the hype is through the roof look at those big slams get some more dodges here and it looks like it it has the it has the potential to be a difficult game that people are wanting it to be i can see the difficulty extreme you know ramping up extremely there you saw some frame rate droppage and that is you know showing the technical test side of it there we go some more attacks here i mean amazing stuff just absolutely amazing stuff And then here we go, another cutscene right here. Once again, like I mentioned, these cutscenes are incredible. <laughs> they look amazing. There we go, right there. Good stuff. Now, I do want to show where you can QTE into other teammates, but look at the gourd. Literally just, literally just suck that enemy up. But you saw that figure right there, and I want to go back to that. So this figure right here. He looks extremely similar. I'm going to show you here in just a second. He looks extremely similar. Going to be probably extremely important. You see the embers on the floor? Let me show you what that looks like. Now, didn't that figure look very similar to this individual right here? Now, this is a little later down in the game when you get to HQ. But it looked very similar to this person right here. I didn't notice that before when I was seeing the live stream. But look at the look at the hair, look at the aesthetics, look at the uh, you know the flames, look at the the shoes, and then the little tail aspect right here or whatever that is. I don't know if that's part of his hair. Yeah, I think that was the same person. So this is going to be an interesting character to keep an eye on right here. Yeah, it looks like a tail. <laughs> Literally looks like a tail. Uh, this is going to be an interesting character, one that's probably going to have a lot to do with the story. And one that we're going to want to keep our eye on and uh, probably have a lot unfold with this guy right here. Can't wait to get some more information on this guy. And he looks great. I love the character design. Looks great. All right. Now, here's Yan Yan fighting. And it's actually really awesome. So, here's the QTE where you go ahead and switch into the other character. And it's pretty seamless. And it's actually a nice transition that happens. There are some slowdown modes that occur. Once again, the uh, ultimate that happens here. Little frame rate drop, but that's okay. Couple of hits. And you see the other enemies that we have here as well. And then I want to see the transition. So I like that move right there where you can hop up in the air and do like a plunge attack or a slam. That looks really great. There you go. Couple slams right there. Really nice. Nice perfect dodge. And then switch right to this character. This character looks great. One that I think you just pick up uh, during the story. One of the first characters you pick up during the story. A dual pistol uh, wielder. And the animations look great. Slide canceling all over the place. Really nice stuff that's happening here. Actually love the animations. Love the movement. Looks fluid once again. 
it just looks like a lot of fun it looks like tons of fun and it's uh i i can't wait to be able to see more characters that get unlocked be able to see more of this game and once again uh let me know your your thoughts let me know your opinion let me know what you guys think about it so far now that we're getting tons of information in regards to this game now that the technical test is out uh, but anyways guys i'm gonna get on out of here this is just the first impressions um, i'm gonna be doing more of a breakdown i'm really gonna take a look at the combat extensively do more of a breakdown for you um, if there's anything that you guys want me to do a video on let me know in the comments down below i would be more than happy to do that and uh now just waiting for a closed beta to happen so hopefully i can get into one of those anyways i love and appreciate each and every one of you stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody i'll see you in the next one bye guys